UI kit makes it easy to add modal pop-ups and light boxes. First, we'll take a look at the modal options. I'll link each image on this first row to a pop-up with different features. Then I'll show you the UI kit light box with the second row. The content you want to display in the pop-up goes into a div. That div needs a class UK modal and a unique ID. I've called this one modal one. The ID is how we'll tell the link which modal content to display. Inside that div, add another div with the class of UK modal dialog. You can close a pop-up by clicking outside the pop-up, but you'll probably want a close button on the modal as well. Just add a link with the classes UK modal close and UK close. Then add any HTML content you want. I have a heading and a paragraph of text. For the image in this first column, I'm wrapping it with a link tag and it's going to open modal one. So this is where you insert the ID of that modal div that you created. And you do need the pound sign at the beginning of that. The link gets an attribute of data UK modal. And that's all there is to it. Let's take a look and see what that looks like. There's our pop-up. And notice that I can click outside of the modal to close it, or I can click the close icon in the top right corner. For the second version, I have a text overlay with a background using a figure element. It's perfectly fine to use modals and overlays together. Remember on the link, we need to use a class of UK position cover. And in this case, I'm going to open modal two, which is another div I've defined below. I've added an image to this one. This is a UI kit alignment class, which floats it to the left. On the close link, I've added another class of UK close alt. That's going to give us a little different styling on that close X in the top right corner. On the link that displays the pop-up, I've added some more information to the data attribute here. This option called BG close, I have set that to false. That's going to force the user to click the close button on the pop-up to close it. Clicking the background won't work on this modal. And then the target is specifying which modal to apply that to. So there's our overlay animating in and I'll click that. We see the image aligned to the left. Now if I click out here somewhere, you see that the modal does not close. There we see the styling with a rounded button, that alternate styling. And I have to click that button to close that modal. This link will display modal three, which has an image that I show using a light box style pop-up. This is the modal three div. And on the modal dialog div, I've added a class UK modal dialog light box. That's what gives it the light box styling. I've added an attribute here, an attribute value of center set to true. And on the previous modals, they've appeared near the top of the screen. This is going to center the pop-up vertically on the page. So now we're on this third image more of a light box look, and you see it centered horizontally and vertically. On this last image, I'll demonstrate what it does first, and then we'll look at the code. So I'll click that. This is called a confirm modal. 
This isn't real. Obviously, all your files are about to be deleted. OK. And then it pops up a second alert message. Just kidding. That's set up by a link that I've wrapped that image in. And on click, it's calling the UI kit modal confirm dialog. Inside here, you add the message, the text that you want displayed in that dialog. And then when that closes, I'm having it call another modal pop up. This one is modal alert, and the first one is a modal confirm. You don't have to use those two together, you could use either one of those separately if you want to. And those functions are all included in the UI kit core, so you don't have to add anything else to get those. I showed you how to display a single image using a lightbox style modal. To use the additional lightbox features that UI kit provides, you need to link to the lightbox JavaScript file, which is found in the JS components folder. So that goes along with my other scripts at the bottom of the page. You also need to add a link to the slide nav CSS file. And again, I'm using the almost flat minified version. This is the same file that the slider component required. I've added a second row of images to demonstrate the light box. You'll wrap each small version of the image with an anchor tag that links to the larger version of the image. Here I'm linking to a large version of the latest work one. The title attribute can be used for a caption and you need the data UK lightbox attribute on each of those links. There is the caption. Notice that there isn't any navigation to go on to the other images in that row. Each is just a separate pop-up. To add that functionality, you need to add a group option to the Data UK Lightbox attribute. And each of them have to have the same group. So I've just called this group work. And I apply that to each of the images. Now we see the arrows. You can also use the UI kit lightbox to show videos or HTML content. In this example, I display a YouTube video just by putting the link in there. And in the last one, I show an HTML file. Again, just by linking to it. There's the video. And there's the HTML file. Can't really see those arrows, but I still have the groups on for those two items. So you can navigate through those just like you did with the images.